syndrome. Acute coronary syndrome, by definition, it has three things involved in it. Uh, unstable angina is also known as acute coronary syndrome. Uh, NSTEMI is also known as acute coronary syndrome. STEMI is also known as acute coronary syndrome. STEMI is the long form of ST segment elevation MI. So on ECG, there should be an ST segment elevation, which satisfies the criteria which we are discussing in coming up, <coughs> in coming up classes or coming up slides. In NSTEMI is basically there is no ST segment elevation. There is no ST segment elevation, the typical ST segment elevation, what we supposed to see in STEMI that is absent. But at the same point of time in this, if you get cardiac enzymes, the cardiac enzymes will be elevated. Most of the time when we say cardiac enzyme, it's basically we're talking about troponin, what we are talking about. Troponin will be elevated. Now coming to unstable angina. If there is something known as unstable angina, there should be something known as stable angina also. First, let's see what is stable angina. Stable angina is where there is no ECG changes or there is no ST segment elevation, what you can see. And there is no elevation of cardiac enzymes like troponin. So troponin is not elevated. ECG changes are, <clears throat> ECG changes are typical ECG changes are not seen at all. When do we call it then stable angina? Stable angina is when the patient has typical symptoms. He'll be complaining of an chest heaviness. Mainly heaviness, he'll be complaining about rather than the pain, he'll be complaining. He'll be complaining about heaviness, might be radiating to the left arm or might be radiating to the neck, associated with shortness of breath, associated with profuse sweating, might be associated with nausea and vomiting. This typical symptoms appears only on exertion. It's not there at rest. It's only on exertion. The typical history will be when I walk for 100 meters, suddenly I start having and just heaviness associated with profuse sweating. Then I take rest for a few minutes, then everything subsides. That is a typical history of unstable angina. Now let's see what is unstable angina. We know what is stable angina. Now we are talking about what is unstable angina. In unstable angina, the patient will have the same symptoms but it is not on exertion. It can appear at any point of time. For example, I'm just watching TV and suddenly these symptoms started appearing. So this will be the typical history of unstable angina. In unstable angina, usually there will be a past history of a stable angina. What he'll say is I'm known to have a stable angina, which used to appear only on walking or on jogging or I'm doing any strenuous exercise. But now this pain is appearing when I'm at rest. And when I'm watching television or when I just woke up from the sleep, suddenly I'm having these symptoms, then you can label it as an unstable angina. Unstable angina and NSTEMI are treated like one and the same. The treatments remains the same. The treatment for STEMI is different. We'll be discussing in coming up slides. Stable angina, we know it. There are few more named anginas. Let's see what is decubitus angina. Decubitus angina is basically seen in people who have severe heart failure because of severe coronary artery disease. Because of this, whenever they lie down flat, they tend to have chest discomforts. That is known as decubitus angina. Prince metal angina is nothing but coronary vasospasms resulting in transient chest pains and ST segment elevations. This basically, there is no occlusion in the coronary artery. It's just the spasm. They constrict. They go into the spasm. And suddenly this patient will have this chest symptoms and ECG, if you get it done at that point of time, there will be ST segment elevations. But within a few minutes, without any interventions, these symptoms will disappear. This is known as Prince metal angina. This too, they might be given in the options, then it will be easier for you to pick it up. That's the reason we are explaining here. Remember that unstable and NSTEMI are treated. Similarly, STEMI is different. Acute coronary syndrome involves all the three.